How you doing my friends? This is Dwayne Powell, your global marketing coach, coming at you with another value-filled, power-packed video, okay? In this video, I'm going to discuss something important that I noticed that a lot of people neglect, okay? A lot of people neglect. And it's, it's really important. It can really um, actually change the, the, the success or the, the non-success that you're actually having in your business, okay? And what I'm talking about here is keyword research, my friend. Keyword research, okay? Okay? You have to understand keyword research because you can have a lot of good content, okay? And, and you be in different niches, all right? But if you don't understand keyword research, how are people going to find you, right? How are people going to find you? So you have to understand keyword research. So what I'm going to do in this video, I'm actually going to give you a quick demonstration of how you can use a free tool to actually find good keywords that's related to your niche, okay? And you can actually start using it in the content that you deliver on the internet for your particular um, niches, whether it's a home-based business, MLM, you know, you want to generate leads and different things like that. Because if people can't find you, that means what? No traffic. And when you have no traffic, that means what? No sales. And no sales, no leads it's just not a good site and not a good thing for you so let's change that now okay so a lot of people I'm a big video marketer right I love videos but you know without keyword research it's very difficult for people to you know like I said to find you so you can do use keywords in your videos your blog your blog articles or you know just articles in general if you're posting on easy articles you have to know the keywords okay so a tool that I use that's free that's very important you know, and I know there's a lot of paid tools out there, okay? You have a uh, keyword tracker and a lot of other tools, but this tool, the Google, good old Google keyword tool, all right? You just type that in in the browser up there, just click it, and we're going to go to the keyword, the AdWords keyword tool, okay? So let's get into this a little bit. Let's, let's look at keyword research here, all right? So generally, when I'm searching for a keyword or what you want to do when you're searching for a keyword, right? Maybe you can get a, a root keyword, okay? So let's take business opportunities, right? That's those good old business opportunities. Everybody got the biggest and greatest business, right? So we'll do a search on this. Let's see what Google gives us. All right. So we got business opportunities. So as we see, when you do a search for a root keyword, Google, what it does a lot of times, it'll show you um, other keywords related to that root keyword. Okay? Other keywords related to that root keyword. And what it shows here is that you have the advertise, advertiser competition for the keyword, okay? So that's generally letting you know that how much competition that it is for that particular keyword, whether it's websites, um, whether it's Google AdWords, you know, people actually uh, sites competing for that keyword, all right? Usually with keywords too, just click this real quick. Usually with keywords too, right? you want to know how much searches they are getting alright this is letting you know here you know monthly volume this is July it's the last month of how many searches a particular keyword had okay that's important because that lets you know that there's people actually looking for that keyword so let's take this keyword for example base business opportunities you know we see it has a lot of competition we do see that oh it's a lot of searches for it and this is monthly searches by the way okay so what we can do, we can take that keyword, let's take this out here, and we can actually, just got some extra stuff pasted here, you want to put quotes at the end of the keyword, okay, and we want to do the search. All right. Now, what happens is when you put quotes at the end of the keywords, what this is telling Google is that, Google, all right, I want to know for the keyword base business opportunities you know what's the competition how many websites there is you know what information or data there is for the keyword when you search for that in quotes okay if you don't have quotes on the end in the beginning of your keyword that you're looking up in actual the Google search engine it's gonna show you 
It's gonna pull up all of the results of just the individual words that you placed in the whole um, sentence or you know long tail keyword that you have listed. All right. So that's why you want to put quotes because it's saying, "Let me know base business opportunities." So for base business opportunities, we see that we have 479,000 competing websites. Okay, it's a pretty good keyword. As we've seen that this keyword had a lot of traffic. Okay. We also see that this Google AdWords PPC on the side. Okay, let me don't make a mistake and click one of these because I don't want to charge anybody for just a um, you know a barren click. All right, so this lets you know these are the things you want to look at when you look at the keyword. Some things I go by is that if this is three hundred thousand or less, I would probably say it's good to probably compete for. You know, those, those are just one of the few things you want to look at. Um, definitely, if they're sponsored links, that let you know that somebody's making money because they're actually paying for the keyword. All right. The only thing about this keyword, it seems generally okay, but uh, it really depends. Like I said, 479,000, you know, a lot of competition. It may not be worth going for, all right? So sometimes what you want to do, I mean, it will be up to you, but what you want to do, like, let's look for advertising competition. We click this, okay? And we can probably, let's see if we can find a keyword. Let's look at this business opportunities work. You know, say if you just wanted to target this keyword. Let's let's look at it. Okay, so we'll we'll copy this, right? And then we'll just put it in between quotes and let's see what's going on with this keyword. This keyword to me is a is a pretty good keyword. Okay, we have less than three hundred thousand competing websites for it. All right. And we have a lot of, you know, we have some sponsored links, so some people's making money for it. And the good thing about this keyword that, as we see, is not a lot of competition, and it had 18, it usually averaged around 18,000 searches. Okay, that's a lot of people trap. That's a lot of people searching for this particular keyword. Okay, so if you can do a video on it, or you can take that keyword combined with a few others. And do an article on it, or you can do, you know, you have your, a blog post on it. You can have an opportunity to have a lot of traffic for that particular keyword, okay? And remember, a lot of times, like if you're doing a video, you want to tag your title, your description, and your tags, the title, and the description all with your keywords, okay? When you do these things, my friend, Things will start to happen. You will get more traffic to your content. Therefore, more traffic will equal more leads or more sales for your business. All right. So I hope that you understood that. This is a powerful tool that you can use. Again, this is the AdWords keyword keyword tool. You can look it up in Google. I hope this video was very valuable for you. I'm a person who loves to help people. If you're struggling in marketing, you want to learn how to market, you want to learn how to generate leads for your business, visit my website. Feel free to contact me, okay? This is your good friend, Dwayne Pyle, coming back, coming to you with another value-filled, power-packed video to help you take your niche or your business to the next level. I'll speak to you soon, my friend. Take care, and to the next video.